the bombshell accusations against Paxton. Investigators spent more than three hours detailing the alleged crimes the attorney general committed. And in the last two hours, the three Republicans and two Democrats on the House committee that heard those details voted unanimously to recommend impeaching Paxton. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson worked through all of the information. She joins us now live. So Liliana, what are the next steps in this process and what would impeachment really mean here? Well, with this recommendation now in, it's going to move on to the House, who will vote if this recommendation moves forward. Sources telling us we can expect that vote this Saturday. If they vote to move it forward, it's going to go to the Senate, where a trial will happen. The State Investigative Committee is saying that these recommendations are based off of allegations both old and new. In a move a University of Houston political analyst told us was unlikely. The chair moves that the committee adopt the articles of impeachment against Warren Kenneth Paxton, Attorney General of the state of Texas. Articles of impeachment are being sent to the Texas State House. This comes after the state investigative committee spent Wednesday detailing the review of thousands of documents, interviews of whistleblowers and other AG employees. They feel they've uncovered years of misconduct, including breaking state laws and misusing state funds. He's had a series of other things develop throughout the years. But Texas voters like him. Nancy Sims is that political analyst with the University of Houston. She says the latest drama out of the AG's office, four top aides say they were fired as retaliation after they went to law enforcement with concerns about Paxton accepting bribes and employee treatment. Investigators said on Wednesday they interviewed 15 people within the AG's office. All but one expressed they feared retaliation from Paxton. The whistleblowers suing, and now Paxton wants to settle for $3.3 million. The question of who would pay the $3.3 million arose, and Paxton just said he would have the state pay it. And the state said, we don't think so. Investigators also expressed concern about the relationship between Paxton and a wealthy Austin real estate investor, Nate Paul. Paul was ordered to jail in March of this year after losing an appeal in a fraud case with a nonprofit. In addition to that, his engagement in a voter lawsuit declaring other states' as elections not, not viable, which was very much a political decision and really did Texas have a reason to get involved in that? With the recommendation for impeachment now in play, Sim says, in her opinion, it's not likely to make it through the process. I have to say it would be extraordinarily rare in Texas politics. And Kim Paxton is a Republican elected official and Republicans run the state of Texas. So to impeach one of their own would be extremely brave. The Texas legislative session ends on Monday. It does not have to be in session for an impeachment to move forward. The House could start impeachment proceedings now if they choose, or the governor can call on lawmakers. In Houston, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.